It's happened again. You took too long getting out of the house and ran into traffic on the way to the airport. You're huffing and puffing and nervously sweating as you imagine the engines of the plane you're supposed to be on starting to spin, compressing and igniting the air you already feel like you're lacking. You finally make it to the airport, and then it happens. You encounter the airport security line. You hold your forehead in your hand as you tell yourself if you could turn back time, you would have come earlier. But let's face it, you can't and you wouldn't have. Fortunately, there is something you can do. Be smart about how you get through the security checkpoint so that you can shave those valuable seconds off your way to the gate. First off, if you haven't done so already, apply for TSA PreCheck. According to universalenroll.dhs.gov, the cost is $85 for five years, but if you travel frequently, the cost can definitely be worth the time you save standing in line. Unfortunately, acquiring TSA PreCheck requires a couple of weeks to process, and if your travel date is nearing, you're out of luck. On the bright side, all you really need in order to fly through the security checkpoint is good planning. Knowing what to bring, for example, can be key. First and foremost, remember to carry your passport or government-issued ID, as you will need that in order to even enter the security checkpoint. When dressing to fly, preferably wear shoes that do not require laces or are easily removable. And since you'll be shoeless, wear some socks. Also, when packing your carry-on, make your laptop easily accessible for quick removal. Finally, according to TSA guidelines on the website, any containers over 3.4 ounces will get thrown out and or get you searched. So buy travel size containers and a toiletry bag for all your liquid holding needs. So you've made it to the front of the line. You tap your foot as the TSA agent shoots skeptical glances between you and your god knows how old ID before directing you to the nearest security lane. It's time for you to shine. First, place your carry-on atop the table and remove your laptop if you have one and place it in an empty bin. In the same bin, place your toiletry bag containing your liquids. Next. Slip off your shoes and place anything that you may have in your pockets or on your body, be it your wallet, phone, watch, or Hello Kitty keychain in another bin along with the shoes. Minimizing the number of bins that you use is essential in reducing both the amount of time spent at the lane and the frustration of those behind you. All this time you should be moving forward, pushing your bins with you as you walk. Now comes the moment of truth, the moment that will define you as a traveler and whether or not you'll be known as that guy who took forever and made me miss my flight. The body scanner looms in front of you in your motion to step into the machine. You step in and let out a sigh of relief as the green light comes on confirming you're good to go. Of course it did, you're a pro. Quickly move on to the other side of the conveyor belt and retrieve the reward that is your belongings. If you require more time to put on your shoes, utilize the benches nearby in order to get out of people's way. Hopefully, they're your dancing shoes, because you just made it through airport security in record time. Keep in mind, though, that there are multiple scenarios which you want to avoid, and taking proper precaution can prevent you from encountering them. For example, according to lifehacker.com, Carrying loose change with you can send you right back through the body scanner and cost the time of fishing for that last dime in your pockets as you empty them. In addition, taking the time to remove outerwear can cost precious seconds. As a result, pack outerwear such as sweaters, coats, and hats instead of wearing them through security, and forgo pants that require a belt. Any of these can help you from getting searched, and no one likes being taken aside for a pat-down. If you've made it this far, you're probably in your assigned seat, waiting for the cabin to pressurize and for your aircraft to pull out of the gate. Congratulations! You've defeated the beast that is airport security and can sit in your throne of minimal leg space. Although you'll probably be just as late to the airport next time, you can sit back and relax once the aircraft has reached cruising altitude, of course, knowing you made it through security and onto your flight this time around.